What is up, everybody? Friday, let's get into this. Everybody and welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs, guys. Today is Friday, boys. Friday, April twenty second, I believe. Twenty second. We just hit eight k, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the love and support, and um, especially all of you guys that are my main main subscribers, guys that are here every day, day in and day out, and Lately, a lot of people but coming on here and giving a lot of love. I appreciate that so much. It just makes it all worthwhile, guys. It makes me worth, like, I'm not doing this for nothing, you know what I mean? So, I love that. I love that. So, today is a gloomy, ugly day here in the Southland. Uh, I'm headed to the shop right now. It's about 7.38. I start at 8 o'clock today. Um, my front side of my appointments are pretty full. But my backside, the end of the day is pretty bare. So Dave's not coming in today because uh, Dave's in New York on vacation. I don't know if he's watching this. If you are, son, have a great time. Be careful out there. And don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Just kidding. Anyways, headed to the shop, guys. Today uh, uh, is 422. We have about eight days left in this month. So therefore, there's about three weeks left before CT Barber Expo, guys. CT Barber Expo. This week, I'm gonna try to be doing. Um, I'm gonna try to tie my haircuts with uh, Raul and Biz. Just try to sharpen up my speed. Find out exactly what machines I'm gonna use at the competition. That way, when I pack up my uh, my equipment to take with me, I'm gonna take my favorite machines only. Um, so and then when I do that, I'll pack it up and I'll show you guys exactly how I pack my, my equipment up and what I take with me and uh, what you can fly with, what you cannot fly with and uh, stuff like that. And I'll, and I'll explain all of that when that, that, that time comes. But uh, head it to the shop. We'll get started on this day and then we'll see what this day brings us. All right, guys. Hope you guys are up. Hope you guys are grinding. Remember, guys, early bird always gets the worm. If you're asleep right now, there's probably a chance you're not going to get to the shop in time, guys. So you should already be up. You should already be dressed. You should already be washed up. You should be ready to go. Remind me, remind yourself of that, guys. Every day, get up early. Take a shower. Get ready. In this business, you need to be clean, wide awake, and, and um, freshened up. So that's my tip for the day. Let's do this. I love the smell of barbershop in the morning. Who's with me on that, guys? Leave me a comment below. You know, that first smell you walk in here and it smells like aftershave and I don't know. I love that smell. It just smells like barbershop, you know? It smells like this is what we do. This is what we are. This is what we, you know what I mean? I love it. I feel, I feel that barbering is one of those uh, careers where you don't dread going to work. You don't. I don't. I never wake up and say like, ah. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna say I never do. Maybe once in a while I do, but to be dishonest to say that I never do. But it's not one of those jobs. It's not one of those jobs where you wake up and you're just hating it. And I don't know. Maybe for some people it is. Maybe for some people it is. Some days when I get up tired and like oh, exhausted, then maybe, maybe that day, yeah, I'm a little bit like, ugh, I need, you know, I'm just so tired. And, but most of the time, guys, this job, I love my job. My job, I feel is like, it's, it's not a job, it's a career, you know, like, I don't know. 
I just it's it's a passion. It's a passion that burns inside of me, you know, cutting hair. It's just fixing somebody up. Like this, it, 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 it's. I, I think I don't know. It's a. It's a. It's. It's a gift, but it's not a gift that, like I say, I'm the best or nothing like that, guys. Like it's a gift that anybody can have. If you want to be a barber, you could be a barber. You could be a shop owner. Trust me, guys. If I'm doing it, you could do it. Trust me on that. Trust me on that. If you knew me 25 years ago, you'd be tripping today. But guys. Let's get started on this day. I'm giving myself a cup of coffee. First appointment's at 8 o'clock. Right. Getting ready for the baby shower. Right. Getting ready for the baby shower. Back to life. My number one YouTube customer, uh, subscriber. So right now it's about noon, guys. Um, it hasn't been busy, busy, but I mean I've done a few cuts. Seems like it's gonna be a slow day, to tell you the truth. But we're grinding, guys. We are grinding. Uh, the cut that you guys just saw right now is a little guy named Isaac. His pops came to the shop today to um, to get a haircut brought him with him he's actually a subscriber he's a uh you know potential barber he wants to be a barber so um he came by with his son to get a haircut they're having a baby shower let me back up a little bit first yeah so he uh came by today and I, hey man i appreciate you coming by we chopped it up gave him some good advice about trying to get into a program to become a barber 
Um, you know, hey guys, when guys like that come in, and uh, I love it. I love breaking it down to them and telling them what they need to do. You know what I mean? Uh, we chopped it up. I gave him a haircut. I gave his son a haircut. His son was super cool, smart little boy, four years old. Uh, that's the haircut we came out with. I'm gonna probably. I don't know if I left. I probably at the end I'll post the the whole haircut video. The but I, I, I'm gonna probably just put some clips in of me talking with chopping it up with him. So it was a pretty cool uh, uh, first haircut of the day today. But uh, it, it's been okay day today. Um, I expect to still get a little bit busier. So um, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out to be. All right, guys. We already closed it up right here at the shop. Me and Raul. But uh, we're gonna go check out this the liquor store. Remember I was telling you about yesterday about the. The pistols from Fools Gone Wild. So people are right here and we're gonna go buy a 12 pack support. Let's see what's for the pistol. Pistol for the pistols. Right here, Jack's liquor. Michelada bomba. Hey, what's up, dog? How you been, man? Good, good. good, good. good, good. How you good, been? Good. Channel C. Yeah, really right oh, Hannah's Jungle Juice. Damn. Womba? What's up, dog? What's going on, dog? Let's go. You try one of those or what? You gotta drive one, dog. Let's go over here, dog. They got a line right here for the pisto already. Just a wrap around the sides, all the way around. Let's get in line, dude. Let's get, we got it. I'm gonna have, we have to buy a 12 pack to support here. Yeah. You know, always good to support the homies. That's how I always think about it. But it turned out to be a person. support you. Yeah, uh, yeah, always support those that support you. You got all kinds right here. They're giving tasters uh, hey, 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 a lot of people. Edgar, Edgar, Edgar! Hell yeah! My haircut made it big time. Haircuts finally made it big time. And I got my own pistol right here, guys. All right, guys. Me and Raul came back to the... We got our pistol. Came back over here. We're about to crack one up right now and get on a sick one. A sick-ass one. So, yeah, the pistol beer. If you guys don't know, who's gone wild? Limited edition. Made by Three Punk Ciel. So, I'm going to try one of these out before we go home. Don't mind if I crack one open. I don't, you know what? I don't really want to rip the box. This is like a limited edition box right here. This is for the house. Let's see. Let's see what they taste like, guys. Listo for the pisto. This one's a mango tango. There's a buzz. Let's try this one. Five percent alcohol. One mango one. That's pretty there's strong, a, guys. A buzz, a berry one, like a green apple. And there's another one. Ten bucks each. Premium Mexican it lager. Has a, like alcohol in it. An apple one. Yeah. How is it? Strong. Yeah. Yeah, you can test this at five percent. It's actually not that bad. I usually hate hate craft beers. Like I can tell yeah. normally, like a craft beer, like ugh, they're strong, you know. But this is not bad. Not yeah. bad. Not bad. Go down to Jack's liquor store and get yourself one. Pistols. Pistols for the pistols. <laughs> pistols for the pistols. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Me and Raul are gonna close this vlog out. Took you guys with us to the little uh, get together over there, and uh, you guys. tomorrow's Saturday. Tomorrow's gonna be crazy busy. I can feel it already, guys. My speaker feel it already. It's prom. 
It's prom. I did a prom pic. I did a, a prom and I put the post. I post a picture at the very end. You guys have a, a good night, guys. I'll see you guys mañana.